What the? G'day and welcome back for more Grand Tour. Uh, Splitzy, you look different than I remember. Um, yeah, so about that, I might have gotten a message that we were found. I guess that's what they put on our vehicle. Well, I mean, <laughs> I've seen worse bumper stickers. Yep, I... Have they put any others on here? Oh, yes, they have. Check out the front. Ooh. <laughs> Dangerous. I feel like we should probably just keep those on there for now. Yeah. Yeah. I feel we should honor... <laughs> honor the insignia of the people who were kind enough not to kill us. Also... We must honor the spirit of the dragon. I think we might have lost your vehicle off the connector on the side here. Uh... What do you mean, lost it? Uh, have a look. What the? Fuel low. Well, it wasn't pointed downwards last time. Yep, and there was a vehicle attached to it last time, which I can't see. Oh well, so much for that survival kit. Yeah, looks like we just got the one on mine. On my rover. Uh, so we should be basically ready to get out of here. All what right. I was thinking we could do, or we, what I was thinking we should do, is grind down anything of value and stow it inside your truck. We can probably leave that connector on the side because that might be easier for me to hook up on. I don't have a truck. Your truck is the big truck. Your truck is the base. No. Yeah, you're being in tr you're being trusted with the most valuable vehicle. Well, makes sense. Um, I believe all the batteries are fully charged. Uh, they will be in a second. Quite literally. Uh, so, shall we just work on grind- I'll just start grinding down the drill bit then. Okay, I'm gonna finish welding up some of these plates. Okay. Yeah, the turbine's spinning too fast. I can't get close enough to weld the block underneath it. Oh yeah, did you see what else I'd done around here since you were last here? Uh, I saw you welded some stuff up. You put the solar panels. Yeah, and I put those turbines off in the distance there. Ah. Uh that we can vaguely see through the sandstorm um, to make sure that we had enough charge to do everything. Oh, my power's about to run out. Stupid inferno. If only it was a disco inferno. <laughs> you can detach blocks with control while grinding. Yes. Uh, okay. Um... So instead of the block being ground down, you will grind down to below the hack line and then it'll drop off. Ah. Uh, Detach cable. Because of R scrap, you will still destroy some components though. So you can start grinding down those um, wind turbines in the distance if you want. Uh, sure. Well, I figure we may as well grind this stuff down because we're not going to be taking it with us. And it, yeah. Yeah bit of resources I guess it may not be worth it might be worth just leaving it there but well we could leave a marker here it might not be too bad to have like a little base station that we could return to if we needed to or well, we could I suppose we could leave a little marker here and a little story with it I guess you want me to make another LCD uh, you'll need to also to put a beacon on it so it doesn't get destroyed and name the grid so yeah do an LCD a beacon and um, a little marker thing. Okay, the the turbines have a beacon and a panel. Oh yeah, what's the panel? Panel? What's the panel? What does the panel say? It is over here. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, we need to make a GPS of what this is. Well, it's pretty much on the same... Yeah, my, my GPS for the iron deposit is in exactly the same place. Oh, okay. but I'm just making it... <laughs> Splits his wind and seven farm. Oh, we should put a battery on it. Uh, yeah. Well, I got an unknown signal. 1.2 kilometers away. I guess I'll see you in a little while. Eh... 
Too dangerous. I'll wait until we're on the move. Okay, uh, what else do we need to do? So, I haven't yet ground these pistons down. Why is there this weird little platform over here? Uh, because I needed to be able to reach the stuff above. Oh. Alright, so you want a battery on this thing as well. I guess we should. Do you think? Big battery or a small battery? Uh, big battery. But I think we should, I think we should continue to leave our mark where, as we go around, like, make little things like this to come back and check on later. So, we need to find two things. We need to find cobalt. We need to find magnesium. Wait, shift middle mouse on what? Shift middle mouse on a cargo access port and it'll add to the build queue for the assembler. There you go, started producing it. Anything that was in your build planner queue. Alright, I'm gonna disconnect this from the booze bus. Yep. You gonna name the... Uh... It won't let me. Oh, is it owned by me? Yeah. Split seas, wind, and salmon farm. Why did you call it the salmon farm? Because. Because. Because it sounded funny. Okay. When I thought of it in my brains. I'm just wondering why you thought of salmon. That's what I'm curious about. Uh, I think it was the uh, uphill run of uh, running along these blocks over and over again. Ah. Like I was a fish swimming upstream. Alright. Uh, we should be pretty good to go. It is unfortunately night time. Which, you know, of course. Oh, uh, worth noting, I turned off everything. Huh? So the wheels are off, all that sort of stuff. Fuel okay. To preserve power. Do you want to get in the control seat? Oh, have you gotten your bottles and have you filled them up with oxygen? Because you're going to have to keep an eye on that because you're not in a pressurized cockpit. Uh, yeah, i got a fair amount of air here, but I'll top it up. Yeah, it might be worth topping it up. Uh, right, drop panel wheels. Let's turn them all on. You do not have a gyroscope. Oh, we need to add a landing gear. Uh, okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be pointing downward, but it can it can point forward. Like you can put it on as a bumper if you want. But we need a landing gear so that when you when we decide to park, we can park and the wind turbines can work. Because we need to become a static grid. Ah. Uh. So where would you want the landing gear? Like, how are we... Well, my rover should be able to attach to the back where it was before. As long as you soften your... Like, you drop your suspension. So we could, I suppose... Uh, I don't know that it'll fit out the side, but we could fit it on the front, maybe? If we were to replace these with 2 by one by one bases. Extend out the front a bit further. My idea was... Uh, when we arrive at, a de at our destination, we just build a post of blocks out of the ground, and then we run into that with our landing gear and lock. Oh, yeah. That saves um, us having to have something that's really close to the ground that might hit the ground. You can put it on the front of this block here. Oh, yeah. You want it that way or vertically? Oh, it has to go this way, actually. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure we'll... Uh, improve the aesthetics of this vehicle once we find some cobalt. Because at the moment we really don't have many options. Because we can't have the cargo, we can't do the assemblers, all that stuff. Right, we have a landing gear. Huzzah! Okay, so, your wheels are all on. I'm going to set their height offset and set their strength, something reasonable. Oh, 700 meters. What's 700 meters? New signal. Ah, well, you're about to be able to drive. Uh, right. I'm in the pilot seat. Okay. You want to take out the chocks? Yep. Uh, is there anything else that's going to be in the way? Oh, uh, this thing doesn't have any lights on it. 
Oh, we should fix that then. Yeah. It's very dark. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how are we going to put lights on it? Ooh, actually. You're going to put them in front of each of the wind turbines or out on the side? Oh, yeah, on the side turbines. Yeah. Um... What do you think about putting them on hinges so we can angle them? Uh, sure. Which way do you want to angle them? Left, right, or up, down? Up and down. Um, sure, you can do that if you want. Alright, while well, you do that, I'm going to go get my signal. What? No, I want you to pick where they're going to go. I don't know why you want them to go up and down. I would have thought left and right would be more useful. So that we can angle them to the perfect driving angle. But I... I'm going to need, like, how am I going to even place it? On the unwelded turbine blocks, that's where I was thinking. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna die of food. Ah, uh, the food's all in the connector on my truck. Oh, Capac, if this is an inferno, you need to come back now. But it looks like you might be okay with this storm. Because the inferno storm would kill you. Ah, uh, it's so laggy. It's the bouton. Show me the bouton. What the? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Could you not find it in the storm? No, I can't find the button. Uh huh. Oh, badger gloves. Alright, I got your lights on. Hooray! Energy low. I even gave you high powered ones. Alrighty. Let's go! Well, you really can't get at those bits underneath the wind turbines, can you? No, it's pretty tricky. That makes me nervous, given we've got something rather expensive out there. Oh. Uh, right. So you want to be cut loose, eh? Fuel Your low. wheels are all clear. Let me just grab some power, and then I will cut you free and hopefully not get crushed in the process. Alright. Booze bus, geisha mobile, whatever it is, about to be loose. Alrighty. In three, two, one. Connection problem. <laughs> that is such bad timing. What are you floating? Don't seem to be moving. Uh, you will need to convert yourself to a mobile grid, I think. Okay. Because your turbines are still working. Uh, don't have any option to do that. Don't have the option in the info screen? I've got convert to ship and convert to station. Yeah, convert to ship. Grayed out. They're both grayed out? Yeah. I don't know. I'll get back in the cockpit. Oh, wait. I can do it. Uh, hang on. That means I need to transfer them all to you. There you go. Uh, you need to share that with me, now that I've transferred it all to you. Uh. So I can't access anything now. There you go. Okay, cool. So now you should be able to convert to ship. Okie dokie. You doing? Oh, yep, there you go. Whoa! Why is it tilting backwards? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you eating? It's such an important moment. Uh-oh. Uh... So your piston thing clanged out on the side. There is now a connector st stuck off... stuck on the ground. Oh, why? Well... I know better than to ask why. <laughs> I think, I think it might have been pushing up against the side. Uh, also, I worry that our storage might be behind the rear set of wheels. So we might need to add some mass to the front. Can you put some, like, not actually placed, but batteries on the front? Um, 
Like, just put some battery blocks down somewhere up the front, doesn't matter where, just as long as it's enough counterweight to bring you back down on all four wheels. Because <laughs> that's not a good position to be in. Mm. Rearing up like- Oh no, you fell off! Yep. Why did you jump off? I didn't, I fell down the ramp. Uh, have you got some blocks so we can get up? Oh boy. I've got some steel plate on me. We can access the connector at the back at least. Oh no! Dang it, I just fell through the middle. Also, I can't time this jump. Oh! Dang lag! Dang truck! Rolling down the hill! Why is it driving away? I don't know why it continues to want to flip over. Me neither. There is nothing on here that should be clanging. The, the only hinges are at the front now. Oh well, we'll have to convert it to a rocket. And <laughs> blast straight off. We, do <laughs> we don't have any means to do that. Well, I don't know. It seems to be propelling itself just fine. Just use that. <sighs> I don't know how to fix this. Don't look at me. This is way outside my comfort zone. Like, I can only think of counterweighting this, and I'm not quite sure how to go about it. I don't know. I, I really didn't think we'd messed the weight distribution up this badly. I hadn't realized how much we'd stuffed it up. I figured it was still going to be bottom heavy enough that it'd be fine. It is a mystery. Okay, it's tilting. Wrapped in an enigma. I got it tilted. A little bit. Yep. Now what? I'm gonna tilt it further. I sure has it, hope it doesn't explode while I'm off here recharging my energy and I can't see it. <laughs> Me too. I'm so gonna get squashed when this eventually releases. Uh, hmm. You did manage to get some weight at least a little bit forward. Did you place those interacting... Capac, I think the blocks you placed might also be interacting with those wheels. Yeah, they probably are. I was just trying to get it to tip over so we could fix it. Yeah, so we'll need to... I wasn't caring about whether the wheels were functional. I was caring about whether they were on the ground. Yeah. I think they're okay, but they might contribute to the issues we have in getting this to be okay once it's upright. Like, they may be creating some phantom forces. Uh, how am I going to do this? If I jump up here, and then... This is a lot harder without a jetpack. Yep. Show this sort of shenanigans. How's the um, connector looking? Has it been damaged? It... Uh, no, it looks okay. You can still access things through it? It is undamaged. Cool. Arr. Come on, tilt! Yeah. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing to do without a jetpack. May also be rolling slightly downhill. Yeah, it is. What on earth are you eating? A Tootsie Pop. Uh huh. Don't have any plates. Energy. Well, go get on. some. This is definitely one of the more ridiculous things I've done. Oh. I've attempted to chuck the wheels so it shouldn't slip any further down the hill, in theory. Ah, uh, okay, good idea. Are those chocks going to stop it from uh, flipping up the right way? Uh, they should just hold the wheels in place. Okay. Unless, of course, it just bounces right over them and careens off down the hill. Yeah. These things could happen. <laughs> I can't believe this is supposed to be a really simple task. Oh, great. There's no such thing as a simple task. Yes, I should have known. 
Okay, it should end up on all four wheels now. Yep. Still riding low on the back ones. A lot. Yeah. Chocks worked though. They did indeed. Uh, we're going to need to shift the inventory forward, so we're going to need to fiddle with that side of stuff so we can move some of the weight forward. So wait, are you using these welders? That's the storage? Yeah, because they are storage that doesn't require cobalt. Well, why don't you just make a storage here? We can't make storage. What? We'll make another welder or whatever. Like it needs, it should be as far forward as possible so that it can counterbalance as much as possible. Because it's still going to be heavy at the back. Yeah, but you can build one here and then... We well, the other option would these. be to add an extra set of wheels at the back. That sounds like even more difficulty. Yeah, that's fair. But if you, if you build a welder here, then you can transfer the contents from the furthest at the back welder into the one that's here in the middle. Oh, actually, have I got all the stuff in one of the really far back welders? Is that part of the problem? Oh no, all, pretty much all the welders are full. I think I might have... Doomed us all! Uh, yeah, I didn't really think about where I was putting these weld the welders down. Cargo. Yep, yeah, that sounds about right. There you go. I have a plan. It's similar to your plan, but can be a little bit more permanent. So now if we move all the iron ingots into these ones, uh, that should be some of the densest, heaviest stuff. Is it looking a bit better now? Eh? Huh? Is everything oh, the looking wheels. a bit better now? Um, yeah, maybe. Alright, let's get these massive piles of batteries off our sides and see what happens. Cool. Banging sounds happen. Did you just drop them all off at once? What? I didn't... I'm sitting in the cockpit. I haven't done anything. Oh. Okay, batteries are gone from one side. Batteries are gone from the other side and you're not tipping. Bizarre. Chocks coming loose. You're in control, yeah? Uh, Wah! Good. Don't drive! I'm not driving, I just turned the wheels. Uh, you might want to... I'm going to turn off... Can you park? I'm turning steering off oh. on your rear wheels. Uh, why have I got a... There's a parachute over there and I've got a target indicator on it. Yeah, it's probably one of my... Uh, drop pod things okay please be careful with driving that you may want to turn down the power on the wheels especially if you find when you're accelerating that you're tilting backwards it's going pretty slow um all right what's the plan what which way are we going uh have you got your ore detector on i reckon you should turn down your power you are tilting back whenever you Accelerate. Oh, that's just a little bit when I start. Okay. Um, uh, or Detectron. Why don't we head towards the ice, the snow? Okay. So that's off to the right. And we're going to want to stay on nice terrain for your vehicle. Also, uh, can you quickly blueprint that? Or let me quickly blueprint it. <laughs> how are your hinges on? How are your lights on hinges working out for you? Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, your signal's like right over there. Yeah, I'll okay, go. It looks like there's two of them. It does. What's this one here? Oh, wait, is that the remains of the one I went and picked up before? Yes. So I think the targeting reticle that we get is part of a mod that allows you to have like target indicators for leading when you're shooting stuff. Ah. That would make sense. I just got zebra gloves. Nice. I feel like I didn't have zebra gloves. 
Well, I didn't think zebras could wear gloves. Uh, also, this one has a thruster, so it's going to have a small amount of cobalt from the metal grid. Uh. So that's handy. As you drive off without me. I'm just headed to the ice patch. So I think we should be driving to somewhere we haven't yet mined any holes in the ground. And okay. parking, parking somewhere that we can maybe be a little bit hidden. So we can find like the side of a hill or something that we can park near. Yeah, there's a little hillock over there. But yeah, as far away from terrain modifications as we could do. You have got a beacon on your rover, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Is that your unknown signal? Yeah. Make sure you bring something down to ramp, build a ramp back up. Oh, I thought you'd left it down the bottom there. No, because it was going to scrape on the ground if I left it. I might drive to the top of that little hill and see if I can spot any ore markings. Oh. What? Didn't get nothing. You collected too many. Yeah, my artificial scarcities. Can see a snowfield. Can see a whole lot of red dirt. And not a whole lot of grey patches. On said red dirt. Maybe they're hiding from us because they know we're coming to take their minerals. Perhaps. I think I might have spotted a good place for us to go and uh, hide our vehicles. Okay. And what you'll want to do is drive around the far side of this hill on the snow. Except don't drive into the giant crater that's on the other side of this hill that I'm on. Oh. That I almost drove into. Yeah, I really can't make out any surface markings. Yeah, you should have a fairly clear path on the snow. Are you up on top of that hill? Yeah. Ah, I can see your light. It's like two pixels on the hilltop. <laughs> I'm trying to gingerly go down the very rough hillside. Unfortunately, the world seems to want me to go very fast down it, and I do not want to... On the smooth surface. Well, this is kind of cool. We've got our base on the move. Yeah. Which means we can go wherever we find the resources. And hopefully we do eventually find the resources, because otherwise we're never getting off this horrible planet. <laughs> I looked back and freaked out because you were in a ditch and I couldn't see you. <laughs> well, we got all the ice we could ever drink. Mm-hmm. Oh. What? Mm. We lost the whole turbine. Yeah, we did. It was a rather expensive little clanging then. Well, not that expensive. We'll manage. You're getting pretty far ahead. Alright. I'll um, do some loops and see if I luck upon something useful. <laughs> did you just perfectly drive underneath your unknown signal? Almost. I'm pretty close. You gonna try and get it to land on you so you don't have to go down? No. No. Oh. So just around the other side of this hill, there's kind of a little valley that's all dirt. That should be a good place to hide our vehicle. Because you can't really hide in this snow. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Ah. You out of power? Oh, oxygen, oxygen, food, water? Um, I'm coming is back. Is there any oxygen here? Uh, no. I'm almost back, though. Can you see me? I'm dead. Ah. Dang. Well. Respawn. Whoop. Ow. Sorry. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's obnoxious. Oh, it's snowing. Yes. Uh, did you fill How up... festive. Did you fill up your bottles? 
No, because they're on my corpse. Oh, I thought your corpse was down on the ground here somewhere. What the... Uh... What? Why is my backpack empty? What? There's nothing in it. Well, there goes all my stuff. Where's your backpack? Yeah. There. It's not empty. Click on the head symbol. What? What the? Then come and fill up your oxygen tanks. You filling up your oxygen bottles? Yep. We will need to make a piped pressurized cockpit on your vehicle. What the? What's going on? Is it going up and down? Yeah. That's what it's supposed to do as it's filling your bottles. It's very confusing. It is. I should have warned you about that. I apologize. The mod author who made this said they couldn't figure out a way to do it. Otherwise, so. Your oxygen bottles are full? Yeah. Alright, let's get moving. Come on, get back. Don't worry about those bits. No, I need everything. Uh, is your food and water okay? Before I start driving off? Uh, nope, but I think I've got some food over here. Can I eat gravel? Mm, sort of. Must be processed. That was not the answer I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it when I can give you an answer you're not expecting. So do you need me to hang around and get you some food? No, uh, I'm good. Uh, wait, am I good? I can't, my bar's not going up. Can I not eat saboroid meat? Uh, don't think you can eat it without processing. Uh, what's I've got cucumbers and tomatoes? What's your food bar at? Ten. Yeah, just come and grab stuff from the connector on the back of this. Just Arr. grab some of the survival food. You still got your detector on? Yep. Man, I hope we get lucky and find something. Found something. What? Ice. Uh, wait, it's actually detecting ice? No. Oh. I uh, used my eyeballs. You are infuriating. Oh, somebody told me that there's a sandworm mod for space engineers. This is true. I need to look into. Uh, I was hoping you wouldn't get told about it. <laughs> I was hoping to surprise you with it. I can't be surprised by the worm. I am... I'm knowledgeable in the ways of the worm. Oh, was it this valley that I was looking at? Might have been. Yeah, it's, it's this little kind of alcove here that I was thinking of. Oven, you want to become a witch. So wherever you think you whoa, can drive whoa. in there to get onto the dirty bit... Rather than Where? the snowy bit. Off to the left. See how there's kind of a blind uh, box canyon there? Uh. What of? I'm hoping you can drive up there without tipping over. Because I reckon this is probably the best hiding spot I can think of. Oh, you mean in this Great Depression over here? Uh, no. Still further up. Ooh. Struggling a bit to get up the hill. Well, wherever around here you think you can park, I think anywhere would be pretty good because we are pretty hidden from most directions in here. Well, we could dig out a cave. No, digging out a cave makes you more obvious. Because of the way space engineers' level of details work. Levels of detail work. Oh, yeah. So I was just thinking somewhere over here. Oh. Build a little post, you can lock onto it, and then I can hook up to the connector on the rear. Then we can turn everything off and hope we have enough power to last. Can you go a bit further forward? Well, it's sort of level here. Doesn't exactly need to be level. Well, level will make it easier for us to navigate as we're doing stuff. That's true. True, but you are sort of fully on the snow there. That's what worries me about it. 
Uh, what if you turned and kind of put yourself... No, no, I, uh, I was thinking if you go half, half, half snow, half dirt, but you're turning, so that's probably fine too. Is that reasonably, is that okay where you're at now? Yeah, it's not too bad. Alright, shall I put a post for you? Oh. Yeah, it's a bit slanty, but... Now, do you reckon you can lock onto that? You may uh, need to adjust your wheel heights to do it. Uh, <laughs> uh, what the? It's too short. You're going to have to drop your wheel heights down anyway, because I need to be able to connect to the rear. Wait, there was another block on top. Did you knock it off? What? <gasps> thought it was falling off. Uh, I'm trying to get in a position where I can add more to it, but I couldn't add any more where I was before. I uh, can... There you go, you're locked. Turbines are spinning. No! How many semicolons are there in light? All of them. Oh no, this isn't going to work. Um, can you convert the thing to a static grid? What? Can you convert the rover to a station? Um. Convert to station. Is it working now? Converted to station. Okay. So the reason this wasn't going to work how we'd just done it was if we left it like that, the thing that we're locked to would have been deleted by the server. Ah. Obviously that would be bad. Huh. Hooray, we did it. It says our batteries are recharging. Cool. Uh, hop in the top cockpit on my <sighs> robot. Yeah. Hop in you the top cockpit allow. on my robot. Uh, that's impossible. Oh well, I can now use this as our safe base and I can go out whenever you're not around and I've got some time. I'll keep going out and exploring for some more cobalt and see if I can find that, see if I can find some magnesium, that sort of stuff. I'll take my little rover out and I'll just leave this where it is. Cool. Will I have any success finding the cobalt, finding the magnesium, and will our hiding spot actually work to keep us safe? find out all that and more when a grand tour escape from purgatory continues